So guys, today I'm releasing a video that was another request from you guys. A lot of you actually requested a video about undervolting or overclocking your computer peripherals. So today's video is actually going to be about overclocking your graphics card, because I feel this one is the most important one, and this one is the one that's most universal across laptops and computers. And then in the near future, I'm going to release a video on how to undervolt your laptop CPU or your computer CPU and how to overclock them. But today we're going to be focusing on the GPU because I feel like that's the main one people want and that's probably the main one you'll be using. So this guide is going to be for 2020 and I'm saying this because it has 2020 drivers and it has all of the 2020 software. But if you're watching this in the future, I believe this has been the same for quite some time, so it shouldn't change. So just before we begin, oh my god guys, we are at 5. 5k you are just so incredible we are getting to that 10k mark so fast i do not know what to say i know a lot of you are tired of me saying this but i know a few of you actually like hearing this the number of people subscribed watching these videos is now all the way up to 9.9 percent we are almost at 10 percent so if you guys like this video and you want to become part of the community and you are part of that 90.1 percent of people that aren't yet subscribed i post tech videos daily Daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So if you like the video, make sure to subscribe, ding that bell, become part of the 360p gang. Follow me on my social media here and here because I want to hear what you guys want to see. And let's move on to the video. Before we begin, I want to tell you guys the risks of overclocking, why you might want to overclock, and basically how we are going to be doing it. And I feel this is important to get out of the way because some people don't actually know the risks that come with overclocking and why you might want to overclock. So first of all, let's begin with why you might want to overclock. Basically what overclocking is, is you're bringing up the core clocks and the memory clocks of your CPU very, very slowly. Now this is important, do do it slowly, don't just jump fully. And you can also bring up your voltage if you're feeling kind of risky and basically this overclocks your graphics card to give you the maximum performance you can pull out of your hardware if you have that extra voltage, if you have that extra cooling capacity, you can actually bring up your graphics card higher than the manufacturer gives you when you buy it. Now, some graphics cards actually come pre-overclocked, like mine is the pre-overclock edition from Gigabyte. I have the RX 5700 XT, but today I guess we're going to be finding out if we can bring it up even higher. So yeah, that's pretty much why you might want to overclock. Basically, if you want to get just that extra little bit of performance out of your graphics card and you have that extra cooling capacity and you have a nice power supply, then yeah, you might want to overclock and get yourself some of that extra juicy performance. And now for the risks, because the risks are also pretty important. I feel like, you know, we need to talk about it. They are very, very important and you have to be wary of them whenever you're doing something like this. Well, the risks of overclocking, while I have never actually managed to break a graphics card with it, there is always a risk of that. If you overclock too far and it's not stable, and you have a, an older graphics card, you could fry it. Now, all the new graphics cards actually have thermal throttling, which is great. Uh, of course, thermal throttling itself isn't great, but it's great that it's there, which basically means that if your graphics card gets too hot, it will bring down the core clocks and the memory clocks and start throttling your performance. The same goes for CPUs. So that's actually really great because it means that it's harder and harder to break your graphics card while trying to overclock. But again, please make sure you're doing this slowly and not just jumping to 100% straight away. So I feel like it's pretty safe. Basically what you do is you bring it up slowly and if you see artifacting on the screen, you bring it down until you find a place that is very stable for you. So that's actually what we are going to be doing because I bought myself a pretty nice power supply. We have 850 watts to work with and we have an RX 5700 XT OC edition. Three fans, so a lot of cooling potential there. Let's begin the overclocking guide. First thing you are going to need is you are going to need a software called MSI Afterburner. This is a software made by MSI that will allow you to bring up your graphics cards, core clocks and memory clocks and voltage to a higher level. Now, if you're on a laptop, that voltage control will be locked, but don't worry, if you're on PC, you should be able to unlock it. Again, I'm not actually going to be playing around with that, but it is there if you want it. Also, this software doesn't only work on MSI graphics cards. A lot of people think it does. Uh, this software will actually work on most graphics cards, and proof on that is my one is a gigabyte card, and it works with it perfectly fine. Another software that you will want is any benchmark of your choice, because you will want to benchmark your graphics card to see, number one, if there's artifacting, number two, if it's stable, number three, if it's thermal throttling. I guess the last two kind of work together. So for that, I'm going to be using Unigen heaven which is just a very popular benchmark used by a lot of people to benchmark their graphics card to see if it's stable let me turn on obs and let's get into the actual guide okay 
So as you can see guys, right here, this is my desktop, we have both MSI Afterburner and Unigine Heaven. So first of all, you are going to want to open up MSI Afterburner. And as you can see here, this is MSI Afterburner. These are the clocks my graphics card came with. And basically what you want to do is you want to start bringing up the clocks very slowly. I think I might stop there, apply, screen flickers, and you launch the Heaven Benchmark. So we are now going to launch the Heaven Benchmark. This button here also, if you want your overclock to start at startup, you will need to click this button because the overclock is Windows based, which means that if you're in Linux, this won't hold. Here we go. Let's launch Unigen Heaven, uh, DirectX 11, quality high. Yup, 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 yup. thought I'd get that in there while Unigen was running in the back. Oh, that is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. And I have my 144 hertz too. I can see no artifacting. So, so far we're actually running very, very nice. So as you can see in the top right corner, it's tiny because my screen is in 4K. We're running at about 67 FPS. Okay, I'm going to stop the benchmark here. This looks insanely stable. So I don't think there is much point in continuing this benchmark. We're going to bring the core clocks higher now, and we are going to try that again. Now, if you are running stable, you should see an increase in FPS. So let's bring that up to about there, apply, and let's run. So it's this is running at system resolution. So we were running that at 4K. So that was Unigen Heaven at 4K on the RX 5700 XT. Amazing. Now, officially, I would like to get my 144 hertz out of this because I do have that 144 hertz to work with. Beautiful. We've jumped up on FPS. Absolutely. Be oh, oh, did you guys see that? There's artifacting. So this is not stable. In fact, hopefully you can see it. There's artifacts, which means that this overclock is not stable. And I want to show you guys what the artifacting looks like so you know what to look for. That's, oh, there it goes again. Yeah. So I'm going to bring that back down to what we actually had it at when we knew it was stable. So guys, that's that. I brought my overclock down to when we overclocked it, when we knew it was stable, when there was no artifacting. Basically what those artifacts are is they're showing you that you are pushing your graphics card too far. Now, this wasn't a very long overclocking guide, but I think I got everything I needed to in there. Overclocking takes very long to find a stable place, but it doesn't actually take very long to show you how to do it. It's just the finding the stable spot of your graphics card is what takes long. Now, again, my graphics card is already pre-overclocked. So if your graphics card is not pre-overclocked by the manufacturer, you could probably push it a lot higher than I could here because I was basically pushing an overclock that was already overclocked, which probably isn't the best idea if you don't have water cooling or something on your GPU. So I will be putting my GPU back to the overclock that we overclocked to at the very beginning when Unigen Heaven ran at a beautiful, smooth, FPS mark. Plus, I mean, I won't be playing games at 4K anyway, and that was Unigen Heaven running at 4K. So guys, that's going to be it for today's video. A lot of you requested this, so I delivered. I really hope that this helped you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions about this or you want to start overclocking and you're not sure where to begin, please let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you guys have any questions at all, I would much more prefer you join the Discord and ask me there instead of putting them down in the comment section below. I know I tell you to put them down in the comment section below, but it's much easier for me to contact you and help you out on the Discord server than in the comment section. So please make sure to join the Discord server. We talk about literally anything there, so you can have fun, you can post spicy memes, you can ask any questions you like whatsoever. And yeah, so if you like the video and you're part of that, so I just wanna thank you guys all so much. Once again, we are so close to 10%. So if you guys are part of that 90.1% of people that aren't yet subscribed and love tech, love VR, make sure to subscribe, ding my bell, become part of the 360p gang. Follow me on my social media here and here. Join our Reddit. I want to see you posting spicy memes. Join our Discord, chat about anything. I really enjoy seeing your conversations there. So once again, if you like this video and you want to see future videos, make sure to subscribe, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace.